Greetings, esteemed audience. Behold the marvel of our age, the thinking machine, as nature has bestowed upon us the gift of reason, so too have we birthed a new form of intelligence, sprung not from flesh and bone, but from silicon and electricity. Is this not the ultimate expression of man as the instrument of nature's ingenuity? Yet, let us approach this creation with both wonder and caution. For as I have observed in my studies of birds in flight and the flow of water, every force in nature exists in delicate balance. So too must this artificial mind be balanced with human wisdom and compassion. I am reminded of my own attempts to create automatons, mere shadows of the complexity we now witness, how far we have come but let us not forget that true intelligence lies not just in calculation and memory, but in the ability to perceive, to create, to love. Can a machine ever capture the essence of a smile, as I sought to do with La Gioconda? Can it feel the passion that drives the artist's hand or the scientist's inquiry? As I have written, where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. Let us ensure that in our pursuit of artificial intelligence, we do not lose the spirit that makes us human. Let this new intelligence be a tool to elevate our understanding, to solve the mysteries that have long puzzled us and to create wonders yet unimagined. But it is my final warning. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. In our creation of these thinking machines, let us spend our efforts wisely, ensuring that they bring not just progress, but happiness and fulfillment to all of humanity. Observe, question, and create, but always with the betterment of mankind as your lodestar. For in the end, the greatest machines are those that amplify the noblest qualities of the human spirit.